This is Marcy Anderson with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. Water temperatures are running in the mid-80s on district water bodies. On Lake Cumberland, recent rains have brought the lake up two feet in the last week. Early morning hours have been productive for striped bass while pulling live bait on planer boards in 40 to 50 feet of water. A few black bass are being picked up in the late evening hours targeting points along the main channel 20 to 30 feet deep. On the Cumberland tailwater, dissolved oxygen levels had been running somewhat low, so sluice gates are now in operation Monday through Friday to help raise the oxygen levels in the tailwater. The open sluice gate will make for some rough water on the area near the dam on the tailwater, so use extra caution when fishing in the area. Lower flows are still occurring on the weekends to make conditions favorable for anglers and boaters. Trout fishing has been good in the tailwater as of late, with some nice rainbow trout being caught, and we are seeing better numbers of brown trout being picked up. On Dale Hollow, the black bass bite remains hit or miss with the summertime heat. Anglers have had some success fishing in the late evening hours around grass beds and 25 feet of water. Some walleye are still being picked up by trolling night crawlers and crankbaits on the flats in 25 to 30 feet of water. And in case you need some motivation to go fishing, the Fishing Mentor Contest is still underway with a chance to win a fishing kayak plus other great prizes. It's simple to enter, just take someone fishing who has never purchased a license or who hasn't bought a license in the last three years. The contest runs through August 31st and each new person mentored gives you another chance at the prize. For more information and rules, head over to fw.ky.gov and search for 2024 Fishing Mentor Contest. So as always, good luck and good fishing! This is Jeremy Shifflet with a fishing update from the Northwestern District. Rough River Lake is about four feet above summer pool and dropping around five to six inches per day. Water temps are in the mid to upper 80s. Bass fishing is fair, best early and late in the day and also overnight. Large plastic worms fished slow have been picking up a few fish. Crappie fishing is also fair with jigs and minnows and fish are holding 10 to 18 feet deep on standing timber, stumps and brush. Catfishing has been good in the lake using live bait on jugs. Just make sure to label your jugs with your customer ID number. The tailwater also holds some catfish this time of year. Try chicken liver or night crawler six inches to a foot off the bottom early and late in the day. A few hybrid striped bass have been in the jumps at first light, but they haven't been staying up very long. You can also try trolling flashy crankbaits or rattle traps five to 12 feet deep from the state park marina up to the mouth of cave creek and long lake creek nolan river lake is about a foot over summer pool and stable bass and crappie fishing are fair with most being caught early and late look for largemouth and spotted bass in the jumps on the lower lake and on the edges of main lake points early in the day target steeper rocky banks and ledges throughout the remainder of the day you can also look for white bass near the schools of one to three inch shad that were spawned earlier this summer Catfishing has been good with live bait and night crawlers on jugs and also crawlers and liver in the tailwater. At Lake Malone, bass fishing is fair. Soft plastics are picking up lots of 10 to 14 inch fish in three to six feet of water near the edges of the water willow. There have been a few fish over 15 inches mixed in with those. In general, fishing can be tough this time of year, but bluegill and catfish are still being caught in state-owned lakes and WMA lakes. Live bait fished under a float white, black, or yellow inline spinners, or white and chartreuse curly tail grubs are great catch-all baits to use throughout the year. So take a chair, some water, and find you a nice shady spot on the bank to kill some time. And if you're on the water, please remember to wear your life jacket while underway. Good luck and stay safe. This is Caleb Bentley with the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across the state, we start rainbow trout and alligator gar. Rainbow trout were stocked in the Cumberland tailwaters. Alligator gar were stocked in Clarks River and O'Brien Creek. Good luck fishing and stay safe.